All right, Sagittarius, the underlying energies of what we're working with this week is judgment. So this is about Phoenix rising from the ashes. This is a time of renewal on another, it's basically a second chance given, right? Um, this is also could be a situation coming back for you to try a different approach. Um, the, this is also, um, it's only saying that because you have a different perspective in the in the matter you have um a d new way of thinking so with the situation coming back you have an opportunity to try something different or do something different with this new perspective okay um but with with this energy is a very familiar energy it's about a second chance this is about renewal again so with all this so in regards to the energies of this week um this is this is your second chance, if that makes sense. I'm not saying that you guys like messed up the first time or anything. I don't believe in failure. This is definitely something coming back up for you guys. This could be an ex coming back, or this is like a situation in where it's very similar, uh, similar for you guys. Okay. Um, the heart of the reading is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles is about working hard, dedication. Um. Uh, concentration. It's all about focusing on the at work. Okay, so this is this definitely speaking of work. The problem circumstance here, right here. All right. However, it's crossed by the Five of Pentacles. So it's telling me that with the Five of Pentacles here crossing this this um the Eight of the Eight of Pentacles is that. <laughs> Although you're dedicated and working hard this time, you're feeling left out in the cold, or you're having, or you're feeling like you're lacking that support needed. Um, you f you feel kind of um, you feel like you know, you're um, yeah, like you're lacking that support. You're kind of left alone. Um, perhaps you're working very hard because you don't have a lot of money at this time. You guys are feeling kind of bear in your pockets if, if to say the least um but for some of you guys this could also mean that you guys are ignoring help you guys are working really hard at this time but you guys but you guys are also not really accepting the help that's available to you at this time okay um so so the problem circumstance like i said before it's all about dedication hard work um putting in the putting in the work necessary to get what you want it's progress right it's the progress card but it's all about support okay and it's being hindered by uh either lack of support or um not receiving the help necessary or not leaning on help at, at this time um the crowning energy for you guys is the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, I was just tapping into um, my spiritual self and asking questions. But for for the Seven of Pentacles to come up for you guys, um, this is speaking to me about having patience, right? To wait. Um, there's really not, not much you can do other than to work at this time. This is saying that, yes, there is really just work for you guys at this time. Just work, 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 work. Um, but your manifesting, your manifestation will come to you. What you reap, you sow. Okay. So all the hard work that you put in, all the dedication, all the patience, all the, even the frustration, it'll come back to reward you. All right. Okay. So, but this is a time for patience and just to start, just really work at hard, work hard at it. Okay. Cause this is a time of change. Sevens is about change. Pentacles is a very slow moving energy and it's really about material stability and, um, and, um, it's like yeah slow material materialistic and real in reality right and something that's tangible so this is about a tangible change at this time so you kind of have to wait on it it's like i said before slow things in the real world are a little slow but it's changing and it's just asking you guys to just hold your horses wait a second just kind of keep doing what you're doing right just work hard you're, you're gonna get the support eventually um you're not gonna be left out in the cold forever now, in the past, you guys had the King of Cups. So this is speaking of you guys possibly having a partner that's very loving, very nurturing. Um, I usually I like to see the kings as external people and queens as internal people. Like guys, yeah, so like the queens would be you guys, regardless if you guys are male or female, and the kings would be um, the kings would be external people, 
like your partners or people that you interact with on day to day. Since this is your love life, I think this is you guys falling in love, you guys being more in love. And the, maybe perhaps this work is keeping you guys from feeling this, uh, feeling that support that you need. Um, maybe this, the, maybe your job is, key, is making you guys feeling left out in the cold at this time. And you guys have love. You guys are in love at this time. Um, hmm. You have dedication. You have something. You have progress. You're making, you're working on progress, but you feel left out in the cold. You have to wait at this time, you know, to get what you want. You get to that change that's physical and realistic. Meaning, like, things in your real world having to change at this time. Not actually, like, realistic and practical views. I mean, it is can be it can be both of those. But this is saying to wait. That's your advice. So in the past coming up, feeling this loving energy here. For some of you, this could be somebody that is, like I said, very nurturing, very in touch with their feelings. Um, very intuitive. Um, and um, perhaps even a bit psychic, maybe. Um, but this could be also, like I said, it's not always 100% with this. This could be you guys feeling more in love, you guys having, um, you guys connecting with your intuition and your instincts. Um, but I think this is for you guys, you guys, you know, you guys feel more, much more like a lover. In this period of time right now, guys, you do have the devil in your present. And this speaks of, um, habits. Um, old habits that kind of can get in the way of some things. So maybe um, there's some old habits coming up or there's some habits that are kind of, that are not exactly the healthiest for you. Or there's some uh, habits that um, that you're re regressing back into at this time. For some of you guys, this could also mean you guys are having a little bit more fun with all of this work going on. You're taking this time now to enjoy yourself maybe into some i guess some taboo if not uh, i guess because that's what the devil's about like he's all about fun as well as um but he's also about addictions old habits um or um, um attachments okay voluntary attachments not involuntary it may feel involuntary but you do have control of, over what you attach yourself to because there's always free will but for him, I think this is about regressing back into old habits and possibly even having, um, trying to have a good time at this time because all you have is like work all around you. Um, perhaps this is a, an old, perhaps this is an old habit, right? Going back into old habits because you have judgment, um, here. So this is like a situation coming up again, another, uh, a situation or a circumstance is coming back, um, for another round pretty much, right? Um, and this could be speaking of old habits coming back up, right? This is some old, um, some old habits that, um, you thought were broken, but they're kind of regressing back. You're kind of regressing back to those old, old, old habits. Um, how you see your future is the two of swords. So there's a difficult situation or difficult situation or difficult decision that you guys have to make, but you guys don't want to see it. So right now you're just keeping the balance until this, the situation pretty much comes down to having that decision made, right? Because in the right of way deck, she's holding the swords up balanced, right? Crossed over her. But those things, let's be honest, swords, if you ever held an actual sword, swords are heavy. They have a lot of weight to them. They're made of metal. And then you have the um, the handle itself that's either made of wood or um, elastic, uh, elastic band. And that adds weight to it as well. You can't hold a sword for as uh, for very long with all that weight. Um in that position and even in this position you can't hold it that way so eventually you're gonna have to put the swords down and make a decision about what you're going to be doing you're gonna have to face it but at this time you see yourself making a decision or having to deal with a situation that you don't really want to see okay so again this could be like a situation that has come up in the past and this is like saying this is a definite time that you have to make this this this, this decision um Or this is definitely having to deal with a situation that you don't want, you didn't want to deal with. That's coming back up for you guys. But this is a very, this is rejuvenative um, energy here. This is the judgment card here. This is about things coming back. So with work making you feel like you're left out in the cold, and you're slowly regressing into bad habits, you have to just focus on work, getting through it. Um, focus on focus on your work. You have to you know, like basically patience is the key here, um, and 
perhaps dealing with a situation, a difficult situation, a difficult decision in which you don't, you know, you don't really want to deal with. And in your outcome, you have the magician. Okay. The magician is about channeling energy through you to create whatever you want to create. So you have the ability to take action or do you have the ability to get anything that you want? This is saying that once you get past this time of waiting or getting past this time of hard work and dedication, right? Um, you can have the ability to manifest whatever you want. Okay. Whether it be, whether it be, um, whether it be a new house, a new car, um, it could be anything, a new relationship if, if some of you guys are single. Um, but this could be literally, that means basically that you can manifest anything you want, okay? Anything. And you just have to, you know, you have to have patience, you have to keep working, you have to keep it up, okay? It's just, you just gotta get through, you gotta get through this time, this time, this phase in your, in your life, all right? Um, with the seven of pentacles, it's saying to have faith and to just p keep working with, you know, um, with, um, the seven of pentacles is basically, like, it, it is a frustrating energy, right? You're frustrated and stuff. You have to work, you have to keep going, but you have something to look forward to at the end of it. After all the work that you can, that you're putting in, you have something to look forward to, right? And with the romance angels, staying up, stay optimistic about your love life positive thoughts and faith will bring you romance it's basically saying that your hard work your patience will pay off so be stay optimistic as much as you can don't regress to bad you know to old habits that could get you into a lot of trouble or having have you dealing with difficult situations in the future try to uh, like just focus on work and things like that so that way you can have the ability to manifest and if you know as your outcome okay it's okay guys it sucks and i feel for you guys heavy work 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 it's just not fun and then the seven of the devil there um it doesn't necessarily always mean that it's like like i said it I mean for some of you it does mean that you guys are regressing back to old habits but i honestly think this is a time for you guys to have a little bit of fun okay because let's be honest like, maybe you guys are having a little bit of fun. Maybe you guys are having more sex. Woohoo! But, I mean, you guys have a lot of work ahead of you, okay? And it's it, it's not fun. But what's fun, what's going to be amazing after, is having to be able to manifest and create. And be able to have everything that you need to create. And to have um, whatever you desire in the future. I am excited for you guys because you guys are working hard at this time. Okay. Uh, the card that we have here for the wisdom of the Oracle is a change in the wind. It's, um, it's a sense, um, it's, it's a sense that unseen change has been initiated. Okay. So it's like preparing for the storm here, like the seven of pentacles. She's working hard. She's, you know, doing everything she needs to do, but at this, but with the change of wind, this is about noticing unforeseeable change right this is about getting ready for that transition so um or or working with what you got at this time right because i mean with this with the change in the wind with the, you know the essential meaning being that you know you have a sense of a unforese unexpected change right or unforeseeable change that's judgment. Like you didn't expect something to come back, right? Or you some some of you sometimes judgment is hard to see it coming back. Or there's like situations where, you know, you're on vacation and you have to go back to work. That can be kind of like judgment, right? Or like the last couple of days for you guys or whatever. But it's a situation where it comes back and you just kinda of have to ride the wave at it with it. You're preparing for this, you know, it's a preparation for the storm kind of thing. You're taking steps to get through the situation, right? So it's instability, okay? It's a bit of instability. But you're getting... It's like it's speaking of the Five of Pentacles. So with the, this change, you have... You kind of feel like there's a shift in shit. <laughs> yeah, there's a shift in shit, right? But, um... But there's also, like, um... 
there's no firm ground. There's no stability. Like this, like your plans are kind of like they're not they're not like like cemented at this time either. So that's what what the, that's what the kind of the meaning of the card is. But to tie it into the reading, this is basically saying to um, to adjust and work with what you like the work with what you got. Focus on. The progress at hand focus on work because even even if it changes a little bit what it's all about is for you to have what you want have everything that you need to manifest that beginning that you want manifest whatever you want okay um, whether it be with a partner since you have the king of cups here or whether it be with a partner someone that you that you love um, um, it's all about what you guys want, and it's all get, just getting through the situation, and it requires you guys to wait. 